JDT Fridays Fan 97 here, and welcome to the very first ever YouTube video that I've created for 2024. But before we get started, I wanted to say congratulations on over a thousand subscribers to my YouTube channel last year. Just to subscribe to my YouTube channel and comment and like and watching my videos. Mostly Fridays related, Del Mundo related, hauls and reviews, and video game footage and stuff. So, yeah. Mostly for PlayStation games, which is from PS1 to PS3, by the way. So I just wanted to say thank you. And make sure you always like, subscribe, comment, and hit that notification bell. Because I will have more videos like this that you can check it out. So, anyway, for this first video of 2024, I'll be talking about the the early Walt Disney movie from 1928 with the first appearance of Mickey and Minnie Mouse has has moving in, in from 1928 has been moving to it the public domain. So anyway, getting into let's get started. An early Walt Disney movie featuring the first appearance of Mickey Mouse is among the copyrighted works from 1928 moving into the public domain on January 1st, 2024, meaning today, by the way. But the cartoon creature who stars in the animated short Steamboat Willie isn't a lot lot isn't a lot like the Mickey we know today. He is more rascally and rough. He, his roots in a back blackface mystical shows of the time are more apparent. And he's exactly, he is not exactly cuddly. For, for much of the movie, Mickey assumes himself by forcing barnyard animals to being unwilling musical instruments. You know, he's involved so much and better, more 3D and colorful, observes Ryan Harmon, a former Disney Imagineer of the character today. He remembers anxious talk when he worked at the company in the, in the 1990s about the beloved icon eventually entering the public domain. But that's not happening, says Kim Brew McLeod, a communications professor and intent, intellectual proper scholar at the University of Iowa. What is going into the public domain is this particular appearance in this particular film, he says. That means people can create creatively reuse only the Mickey Mouse from Steamboat Willie not the Mickey Mouse in the 1940 movie Fantasia, nor one, nor the one on Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, a kid show that aired on the Disney Channel for a decade starting in 2006. New versions of Mickey Mouse remain under copyright. Copyright applies to created characters, movies, books, plays, songs, and more. And as it happens, Mickey Mouse is also trademarked. Trademark law is entirely about protecting brands, logos, and names like Mickey Mouse as a logo or the, or the name Mickey Mouse McLeod says. 
And of course, trademark law has no end, adds Harvard Law School professor Ruth Okechiji. Disney and other corporations, she says, use trademarks to extend control over intelli intellectual property, as long as the mark remains dis distinctive in the supply of goods, goods and services, the owner of the trademark gets to protect that trademark. It's sometimes copy, it's something copyright scholars like myself have been concerned about, she continues. This effective undermining of the public domain by allowing trademark law to effectively extend the life of a copyrighted work. And it's my hope that either Congress or the courts would restore the full balance between the protection of creativity and the protection of the public domain, which is also the protection of creativity. Sorry about that. It's just a notification sound. Now people should still be able to do things like incorporated clips of Steamboat Willie in an art project or maybe sell a t-shirt reproducing a frame in, from the movie. But Okediji cautions that those things infringe on a trademark or threaten to dilute the trademark because of the way it's used, then Disney can use the law to assert its ownership. This could this could keep people from making from making, for example, a Mickey Mouse's slasher movie. When, which something actually did when Winnie the Pooh went into the public domain last year. You can also, you also can't just call your restaurant Mickey Mouse on January 1st, Okediji chuckles. You can't say, I'm the Mickey Mouse restaurant. That will be a clear trademark violation. The Walt Disney Company had, has earned a reputation from aggressive look Liglicious over such matters. In 1989, it threatened to sue, for example, three Florida daycare for painting Disney characters in a mural on its walls. But most recently, McLeod says the company has turned its focus from copyright and trademark related lawsuits to curb curbine online privacy. It's possible, he says, an old cartoon from 1928 may not be all that visible and valuable in 2024. The company even made Steamboat Willie available on YouTube for free back in 2009. Here, here is the irony, with Cleoid says, Steamboat Willie is based on a popular film at the time, Steam, Steamboat Bill Jr., was a Buster Keaton hit that came out earlier that year. Steamboat Willie is a play on its name. Mickey Mouse made an appearance appearance in a film for the very first time that that very much relied on another copyrighted work that helped propel its popularity. And McLeod continues, when you refer to something that's popular, most likely it's going to create wider audiences and audiences who are recognizing that 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 particular reference and is sureness in the, in the in the constitution he says copyright copyright was originally in, intended to protect creators for for fewer than 30 years while copyright extensions may enrich corporations they improvish the culture conversations that rely on relevancy, relevancy, innovation, and creative to drive artistic and technological, technological progress. Anyway, I. Thanks, thanks again for tuning, watching this video, and 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 remember, please. Uh, as I was saying, remember 
please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so I can have more videos like this. So yeah, until next time, thanks for watching, JDT Fridays Fan 97, signing off, remember, keep enjoying Fridays, peace and love, ciao.